Witajcie kibice Wisły. Na Twitterze z Jarkiem Królewskim trochę się z Wami pobawiliśmy w taką zgadywankę, kogo zaprosiliśmy do Krakowa. Jest ze mną Jack Downer, Street Pana. Hello Jack. Hey, hello, thank you for having me here. Yes, great to have you here. I tak, i Jack jest tą naszą niespodzianką, między innymi na piątkowy mecz z Miedzią Legnica. Ja teraz z Czekiem porozmawiam w języku angielskim. Oczywiście zobaczycie napisy do tego filmu. Zobaczymy, czy Wam się spodoba. Myślę, że, że to będzie kawał fajnego wywiadu. Ok. <laughs> nice to have you here. Hey, pleasure. And what an amazing place to be. Yeah, yeah, great. Uh, you visited a lot of uh, famous stadiums around yes. the world, so we are kind of surprised that uh, <laughs> that you find the time to 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 be here with us. Oh, I mean, it's a pleasure. I think the um, the history, the fan base here, is as big as any club. So I wanted to come and see it, and I'm excited for the match and to see the atmosphere because now it's beautiful. But I know when the fans are here, it will be amazing. Yeah, great. Uh, so maybe um, uh, let's speak about uh, mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, <laughs> because you are not football freestyler, but you are street, street footballer. footballer. Exactly. Yeah. Can you explain uh, your beginning? What yes. was your beginning? Of course, so freestyle is obviously the ball in the air, lots of tricks, many people know it. I'm a professional street footballer. Everyone plays street football on the streets and that's how I started. I played normal 11 aside football, but when I was 14 I had an injury and then I found street football. So it was doing tricks, but just on the floor. And it was all about nutmegging your opponent. And um, there's a game called Pana and there's world championships, 1v1. And I found it and I was addicted. And I trained every day for nine years and I said, that I would become the world champion and I did and then as twice, was I think tw yeah. yeah thank you yeah, yeah, <laughs> twice yeah. and um, yeah I basically fell in love with the sport and wanted to spread the sport and I found that if I did more 11 aside um, with some tricks I would be able to share street panel with more people and uh, we've traveled with it we went to Barcelona LA Galaxy Sao Paulo yeah. and we're here now Paris Paris very happy yeah <laughs> yeah Paris Saint Germain we forget them we're here yeah, now yeah, yeah 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 we are here in this uh, crack of stadium Exactly. Uh, okay, uh, you mentioned about that you mm -hmm. train every, every day. So, yes. is the recipe for, so for success to be successful? 100%. In, uh, yeah. For me, I think that if you want to be successful in whatever it is, be it football, any other sports, could be music. If you train every day, for me, you never go backwards. Yeah. So, I would know that if I trained once, twice a week, the start of my training sessions, I would feel slow. So, I trained a little bit every day, even when I had school or university or work, I would find at least 20 minutes on my own no distractions to train and that meant that when I had more time I would be ready to make the most of it and uh, yeah I think if you do that with dedication hard work and patience yes. success will come don't worry about likes or followers just worry about improving your own game okay. and I still to this day I try and make sure that every video or every time that I compete the level is higher yeah. and I think that's why in my eyes I don't feel bad having the followers. I feel like it's a fair exchange. They support me and I give the best quality I can. And you've seen how hard we work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we always try and make the best. And I think that's, um, if you do that, whatever your career, whatever your path, you'll succeed. Yeah, I've heard uh, one great sentence, I think, consistency wins. Always, yeah. and I agree. And I think, I mean, that's what I think you show here as well, the strength, never giving up, always playing with everything you have, leaving it on the pitch. Yeah. That's what, um, I've always believed in and uh, that's why I'm very excited to our, our watch coach the match. Uh, uh, say two words ab um, after the game against uh, Vize Fuji in the uh, uh, mm -hmm. quarterfinals of a cup and uh, never surrender so this is the same. This is exactly it. And um, anyone that knows my story as well, I had some big injuries and those injuries it was the exact same thing. If you give up, like you don't come for it. And to be here now, it's a blessing. Yeah, great. Uh, I would like to ask you, um, because yes, as I said before, mm -hmm. you visited a lot of great places. And uh, so which uh, football arena was the best? It's difficult. One of my favorites was the new camp, Camp Nou. Um, that was amazing because I grew up watching Ronaldinho. 
Yeah. So to then see the stadium where he played, that was for me well, very same special. Dress, yeah. Yeah, the same, it was like, wow. But um, they're all very different. LA Galaxy was interesting as well. I really enjoyed my time there. Sao Paulo, very cool. But here is one of the best. I think all the details that you have and the history you have, it's very rich. And we can spend hours and hours just talking about it. And for me, I haven't experienced that yet. So yeah, great, I'd great. say we're at the moment, we're taking the top spot here. Yeah, great, great to hate. And I hope that our supporters likes it also. Look, and here it doesn't look like a supermarket. Yeah. So it's very, very good. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, so let's move on. And I would like to ask because mm -hmm. uh, you were, uh, you played against a lot of uh, great uh, opponents. Uh, yes. Great, um, against uh, a lot of great players. Uh, so who was the toughest guy? Oof. <laughs> There's some tough ones. I think Neymar was obviously very good when he was on the ball. But thankfully, I had the ball, so that was good. Uh, Riyad Mahrez, he was amazing, his touch. The best shooting I'd ever seen um, was Mbappe. I'd never seen someone shoot like that. But the, be the hardest to pass, I would say, it's, it's a different, you probably wouldn't guess it, but Paul Pogba. Okay. He was so strong. If he put his arm on you, I could not move. So he, for me, um, he was amazingly technical. He had great footwork. He was both footed and he was very strong. So I always have to give him big respect. I, I thought that you will mention uh, Kubak Szczanowski. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Squad. Hey, I mean, that was tough. <laughs> that was yeah, tough. Yeah, yeah. What but do you think about our guys from our team? I'll be honest, they were all very, very strong. And it surprised me because they're not necessarily too big. Like yeah. Paul Pogba is six foot four or something, you know, very big. But your guys, they were, you know, maybe the same height as me, but so strong and fast and also very nice. So they welcomed me. They were nice to me, I think. They, you know, at first they tried a little and then they tried more. And uh, yeah, I was very impressed. Very good athletes and uh, very good guys. Good atmosphere, good banter and amazing with the football, of course. Great. Uh, so maybe um, let's move a little back uh, okay. uh, in our conversation because uh, let's start from the very beginning, from the, let's say, Monday. Because yes. uh, how is it possible to have you here? <laughs> what is the story behind the, uh, that? Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's been a crazy story. I think we were very fortunate to make it happen. Um, I was in Dubai training and filming there and I have a good contact, good friend, Mihal. Um, basically, my friend moved here, met Mihal, and we thought, well, how amazing would it be to come here? I hadn't heard of the club too much. But everyone was saying it's amazing, the history, the supporters, the atmosphere. And I thought, you know what, we have to go. And I'm so happy we made it happen. So we came on Monday, we went to the first team training, saw some of the players. And later we're going to be with the younger players, which is going to be fun as well. So the under 12s, the next generation of footballers. And um, yeah, it was just because of that. So shout out the team, shout out everyone for making it happen. Yes, okay. So maybe let's speak about the uh, game against uh, Niege. Yes. Uh, uh, what is your prediction about the result? <laughs> I think it's going to be 2-0 to us. 2-0? I okay. think 2-0. I don't want to concede. Two goals, it's good. As long as we get three points, I don't care. Yes, it could be 10-9. Yes. Could be as long as we win, it's good. But um, yeah, I think definitely the win. I think 2-0. That's okay, my prediction. Great. What's your prediction? 3-1, um, I think. <laughs> We're not going to concede. We're not going to concede. But I would like to shout the name of uh, goal scorer. Yeah, it's so, true. We need more. Yeah, yeah I like yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. 3-0. <laughs> <laughs> <Three nil. laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you. Thank hey, you it's been a time. pleasure. Uh, it's great to have you here. Um, and I hope that uh, you will enjoy. Uh, I'm loving it. I, I will for sure. I'm very excited. Let's get the win. Yes. And uh, it'll be great. Fingers crossed. For Fingers crossed. Yes. Thank you.